Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use a drop down to switch between charts. So what this does is provide a level of interaction on your charts. So let's say for example I have a chart that shows the profit, this column in this table here. Maybe I want to provide some interaction to let you choose between expenses and sales for, the, for these uh, items here. So I can go under this drop down, look at sales, and I've got a chart, a bar chart that shows, a column chart that shows sales, and then I can look at expenses, and I have an expense chart that shows expenses. Now to create this chart, there is basically a couple things you need. Of course you need your table, and then you need to chart uh, separate charts. So in this sheet too, I've got these three separate charts that show sales, expenses, and profits. And what we also need is a form control, a, a combo box, and this is what it is. This is a combo box right here. It's a, a drop down box. And also we're going to use the camera tool, which is this thing right here. And what a camera tool is, it just takes a snapshot of uh, a range of a cell or a range of cells. So let's go and show you how this is done. And in addition to the camera tool, there's also another way to, to utilize the feature of the camera tool. And I'll show the second way to do that at the end of the video. But we're going to use the camera tool for, at the, as the first example in, uh, in this session. So let me go ahead and copy this table. And you can select the table, control C to copy, and go over here to sheet three and control V to paste. So I've got this table here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to create a chart from this table. So I'm going to go and insert chart. I'm going to go ahead and since it's already selected, let me go ahead and insert a column chart. Let me go ahead and select that, and there's just, this is my column chart. I'm going to actually put this into another sheet. Let me go and Control X to cut that, and then Control V to paste it here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line this up. Now I want to make this kind of line up to the cells here. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and line it up to to B and just make it a, a size. You can just kind of make it a size where you feel it's appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and in order to just click it into the grid, so I would have to kind of move it carefully as I left mouse click it and make sure that it lines up with this grid here. Or I can press the Alt key and it's going to snap it into grid. It's going to snap it into the edges here. So you can see that that's selected there. If I select the table again, I press the Alt key. I can just snap it in the grid. You see how it snaps it into each cell? Let me go ahead and just bring it there. And I think I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller here. Once I have this initial one settled, I'm going to go ahead and copy or actually duplicate it. So I'm going to make two more duplicates of this. I'm going to select it and just press Control D twice. And it's going to duplicate this chart. All right, so I'm going to put this one over here. Use the Alt key again to kind of snap it in the grid here. And the same for this one. Use the Alt key and snap it into grid there for that one. I'm gonna. I want to make this all kind of fit into this view. I'm just gonna go reduce the size there a little bit. All right. And so each chart has to be separate. So this chart can be sales. This one can be expenses, and this one can be profit. Oh, and I'm just gonna remove the grid lines here too. And select that and just press delete. I forgot to do that earlier. It makes it look cleaner without the grid lines. Select that and press delete. So I'm going to take sales away. I mean, I'm going to keep sales here and take expenses and profit. Take away the red and green. So I'm going to click on the red or green first and just press delete. And then I'm going to click on the red and press delete. So here I want the red and don't want the sales and profit. So I'm going to take sales and press delete. Take the sales bar, press delete, and take the profit bar and press delete. You notice, how, And you notice how when that's done, that's the only series of data left, and it automatically puts in a title, which is kind of nice. So I don't need this legend anymore. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to delete these expenses. And now I just want to have profit here. So I'm going to remove sales, click on the sales bar here, or column here, press delete, and click on the expenses column, and press delete. Now I have these. So the next thing I want to do is I want to select the range of cells that each one of this these charts are in and give it a name. So I'm going to select up here and I'm going to use the arrow key and go down. So you can see that it's kind of behind this cell. And so what I want to do is I want to press the shift key and use the arrow key to go down to select all the way down there and use the right arrow key to select the background cells that this chart is above. So it's layered above that. And I want to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one sales. I believe I already called 
I already have a name called sales on the example, so I'm just going to call this S and I press enter. So now S is this range of sales from B3 to G14. I want to do the same for expenses and profits. So I'm going to click up here, use the down arrow key, and you press the shift key and go down, press the down arrow key. I'm still holding on to the shift key and then select the range of columns here. And for this, I'm just going to call this E. All right, press enter. So now this range of cells is E. So now I want to go ahead and also do the same for profit. Click on that cell, down arrow key, press the shift key, and then down arrow key to select those range of cells and right arrow key to select those column and just call this one P. So I've given these range of cells names and to see that I can go actually go into formulas and go into name manager and you can see that I have these cells here E so this is expenses which is well let's go to sales as I'm covering this up sales I called that one S so it's looking at sheet 4 which is this one and the range of B3 to G14 B3 which is here to G14 and for the other ones like P and E, expenses and profit, it's doing the same thing, looking at those respective cell ranges. So basically what I've done is just given a name to the selection of cells. I'm going to close that. And so what I want to do next now is I want to create a drop down. So let me go ahead and go under here and create a drop down. So that's going to be under the developer tab. So if you don't have a developer tab, you'll actually need to put that in. So when you're clicking on any of these other tabs here, you can just go right click and go under Customize Ribbon. And in the Customize Ribbon, you want to make sure that that check mark is there. You'll have a main tabs, make sure that's there. And while I'm in here, you also, if you don't have this camera, this camera icon here in the Quick Access Toolbar, this, this area up here is called the Quick Access Toolbar, the QUAT you can actually put that in while you're in here. So you can go under all commands and look for the camera tool. It's in alphabetical order. You can just scroll down. You can see that it's here. You can select that and just click add. So I've already had it added. I don't need to put it into uh, my, my ribbon. Uh, basically, when you're clicking on this part here and going under more commands, that that's actually where you would do it but you can see that the the window is the same so there's a couple ways that you can get to this excel options window you can either right click the ribbon right click the ribbon or you can just click this drop down here All right so that's how you add it so I've already got the developer tab and what I want to do is I want to insert the combo box under the form controls so I want to insert this box here so I'm going to draw that box I'm going to just draw it here now I've gotten this box drawn, I want to go ahead and format it. So I'm going to right click and go into Format Control. So my input range, I should actually have done this earlier, but my input range, it needs to be a list item of these, the sales, expenses, and profit. And the cell link, I want to indicate where the output is going to be. So once it selects, once I do a selection of sales, expenses, or profit, it's going to create an output uh, wherever I deem it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel out of this first. And I'm going to go ahead and select sales, expenses, and profit. Or actually, I can call it something else now. I can, I can go back into, this, into my sheet here, which I created these chart tables. I need to create a list. So I'm going to call this, I think I already created one earlier. So I'm going to call this something else. I'm going to do sales to and then expenses two and then profit two and then I'm going to give a name for this list so I'm going to call this selection select number two right you can also do this under the formulas so let me go ahead and show you how that's done and in addition to doing it under here you can also create a named list that's what it's called so we can define a name and I can give it select two and then I'm just gonna select this area so basically what we're doing is based on a range selection we're giving it a name so I'm gonna give that a name there click OK now that's basically the same thing as inputting it up here so if I go under here and go to select two you'll see that it's selected this range of cells 
So once I have a list created, let me go back into my control bar area. I want to go ahead and right click it, go to format control and input range. I'm going to type in the name select two. So that gives it the capability of looking at that list and you can do that drop down and it will give you the options of selecting sales, expenses, or profit from that sheet. So where do I want to link the output? I'm going to link the output over here in cell F3. I'm going to go and click OK and you can see nothing's happened but if you go ahead and click outside a bit the control the form control is not selected if I select the drop down you'll see that I have my options here so if I select sales 2 I'm, the output here is going to be number 1 if I select expenses 2 it's going to be number 2 if I select profit 2 it's going to be number 3 so let me go and show you so that shows 1 that shows 2 and that shows 3 so it just goes in order the first selection the second selection first selection second selection and third selection so what I want to do with this one is I want to keep that there but now what I want to do is now I want to use the camera tool so I'm going to use the camera tool just to, to pick up an image and what I'm going to do is just click on the camera tool so what it's done is it took a snapshot of G6 if I press enter you'll see now that that snapshot is there so if I put a number here you'll see that number shows up so I don't want it to do that what I want it to do is I want it to, I want this to reference those images so for example if I go up here and I just remove the reference to G6 and I just put in maybe one of the name ranges of those pictures here in sheet 4 and if one of them is sales I can just press S and so you can see that it Excel is kinda of smart kinda of gives me options to choose from so S was the sales and I'm sure if I delete it and press C it would give whoops not press C press E it would give me the expenses chart the name the range so it gives me a named range so I'm gonna go with S right now and press enter so what it's gonna do is since I named that range of cells in the other sheet it's gonna bring back that picture and so you can see this picture of the sales I'm going to delete this as I don't need this anymore but what about the other things? I mean, what about the other cells, the other name ranges? See, nothing happens here. So what I need to do in this case is I want to create another named range. And I want to have it where when I select one of these, the number changes here. And that number change will reflect in the change of the chart here. So what I need to do here is create another named range. So I'm going to go up under let's see, uh, formulas and define name. So what I want to do is I want to give it a new name. I want to make, I'll call this select selection, oops, selection 2. And here I'm going to use a formula. The formula or, or function is actually using the choose function. And so what it does is I type choose open parentheses and the number is going to be this cell here, F2, I mean F3, uh, comma. And then based on what it chooses there, I'm going to either go for sales, whoops, I think I call that S, or the other one is expenses, or the other one is profit, right? So let me kind of explain this form a little bit. So it's going to look at this cell here, F3, based on what you choose here. If you choose sales, it's going to be number one. If you choose expenses, it's going to be number two. Profit is going to be number three. And this number determines where I'm going to choose uh, this. I'm going to, am I going to choose S, the first one, E, the second one, or P, the first one, P, the third one? So if it's two, I'm going to choose E, the second one. So let me go ahead and click OK. So after I created that name, what I need to do now is select on this chart, and instead of having it called S, have it call selection. Have it look at the selection name that I had created earlier. So what's going to happen right now is based on this number it's going to put that chart. So now I have sales one, that's the first one, so it's going to go ahead and pull that first in that list of that choose. If I choose the second one it's going to put, put E, the second one there, the second chart. And if I select profit two it's going to pull the third one. So the rest of it it's probably can clean it up. If I wanted to clean up I remove that legend there let me go ahead and just, I forgot to remove the legend here. Press that, press delete, and go back into sheet 3, 
you can see that it's changed it dynamically. And also, you, you need this cell here, but what and you don't want to have it uh, show visible. What you can do is basically just have this this form control cover it. So let me go ahead and just select it. Let me right click that. Yes. And just click on here and just move it over. And press the Alt key to kind of move it over. And that has moved over that and hidden it. I'm going to move this chart over here to kind of make it kind of more neat. And maybe I'll move this one a little bit over here. So it kind of looks like it fits there. Right click. Uh, let's see. Right click and then just press Alt key and it kind of snap into place here. So now I have that chart. So if I select it sales, it's going to reflect here. If I select it expenses, it will reflect here. So as I mentioned earlier, there's another way to to utilize the camera tool feature. And basically what it is is you're basically copying a picture link. So if I took if I selected a cell here and go under home, go under copy, and then I all I have to do is just go into paste and I want to select picture link. And I select that and basically I'm going to bring that over here and I can call this one selection two. Double click, press enter, and now I've got a copy of that one. And so that's the other way to create to use the camera tool kind of concept. You can either put it in your QAT, your quat, or basically let me go and show you this this will just work too. Yeah, and so it works here too. So there's two ways to use the feature of the camera tool. You can either use the camera tool itself or do a copy and then paste picture link. And that is the other way to like paste links of a picture, which updates dynamically. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.